So the Biden administration just created a disinformation governance board, which sounds really heartwarming when you think about it. Very Ministry of Truth, not Orwellian at all. Um, yeah, and it's under the Department of Homeland Security because people who believe in free speech are basically terrorists. I mean, I wouldn't want to say anything else because the Disinformation Governance Board, Get It Right People, is definitely watching at this point. And it's headed by this woman, Nina Jankowicz, who was a disinformation fellow at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. Yes, so she's an expert in disinformation and misinformation, take that as you will. And now with this new board, they're going to fight online misinformation. They don't really say exactly how, but stand by, you'll find out. And don't worry, the board is going to protect your free speech, they tell us. Yes, that's what Nina herself actually wrote without joking. She published this tweet that says, quote, Here's my official portrait to grab your attention, because I'm not vain. Now that I've got it, a huge focus of our work, and indeed one of the key reasons the board was established, is to maintain the department's commitment to protecting free speech, privacy, civil rights, and civil liberties, unquote. <laughs> They're for real. It's for your own good, people. Moreover, it's for your free speech. They're protecting your free speech by silencing you. They're taking care of your privacy by monitoring everything that you say online. They're taking care of your civil liberties by, I don't know, in some way or another intervening whenever you say something that they don't like. Do you feel protected yet? Because you should. Because they say so. And by the way, this entire sort of... Uh, ethos is a consistent thread with Nina, who on January 13th of 2021 tweeted, quote, the free speech versus censorship framing is a false dichotomy, unquote. No. You see, the opposite of free speech is restricted speech. We call restrictions on speech censorship. Therefore, free speech and censorship stand at odds. They might be considered versus one another. That's how this works, at least here in reality. I wish Nina would join us. But on January 29th, 2021, Nina expressed her dissatisfaction that Twitter was going to stop censoring people who had doubts about the 2020 election. She said, quote, considering the long-term damage these lies do to our democracy, I'm dismayed about this decision. I say this about foreign disinformation, and it applies to domestic disinfo too. Elections aren't an end point, they're an inflection point. Policies need to reflect that." Unquote. If you have no idea what she was trying to say there, allow me to unpack it and reflect it. She said, I don't give a damn about your free speech. That's what she said. <laughs> Jankowicz was an advisor to the government of Ukraine, by the way, and they're going to start out by getting involved in any misinformation and disinformation as it pertains to the Ukraine-Russia saga as a very unbiased source, as the advisor to the government of Ukraine. She also stated in the past, by the way, that the Hunter Biden laptop fiasco was a hoax, that the information therein was all false, the contents of which were reported by the New York Post and everything. That was all Russian disinformation, she said. She was wrong. Now, everybody agrees that she was wrong. But remember, she's the woman who's going to be fighting disinformation online when she believed that the Hunter Biden laptop was an example of that disinformation online. If that gives you some idea of her sense of clarity going forward. Oh, and by the way, the 2020 ex uh, election is an example of something that can't be questioned. I hope you're seeing a pattern here. I certainly am. There are interesting times ahead for all of us.